guys, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today to share with you another layout for Scrapbook Your Joy using Coco Vanilla Studios More Than Words collection. I That is the layout that I created um, and I wanted to let you know before I share more about the layout in this process that uh, Sandra is doing a pre-order on the new Coco Vanilla studio collection. The collection's name is Midnight and um, it, during that pre-order you will get 5% off of the regular prices as well as all of the regular shipping deals um, apply as well. And this pre-order is active until Sunday, September 16th. Don't forget she is in Canada so there is an exchange rate difference but that exchange rate if you are in the U.S. works very favorably. So what I've done there with the chipboard word is I was inspired by um, I think they're letters by Pink Paisley and I wanted to soften the gray because it's a very dark gray and there's a lot of there's not a lot of dark on this layout so what I did was I put some painters tape down over half of the chipboard and then I sponged um, acrylic over it to uh, give a different color hue down the bottom of the the chipboard letter there now um, if I were to do this again I would have put gesso down before I put the uh, the color. Um, you will see when you see the close-ups that you can still see the gray underneath it because it's more of an opaque um, acrylic and it's not as noticeable as I would have liked the difference in the colors to be. However, it works and it's just fine. So what I've done there on that left hand, uh, sorry, right hand edge of the page is I've just taken scraps from previous layouts and I've put scraps down that right hand border of the page. I had a fussy cut letter that I, uh, letter, flower that I put up the top right. And now I'm gonna intermingle some labels uh, in amongst those cut edges just for a little bit of variety. So those of you who follow me will remember that this is a technique that I used going all the way around the outside border of of a layout and I will link that um, up above in the info cards to you so you can see what that is it's just it's the same thing that I've done I've just put it down the right hand border of this page and I did that knowing that I was going to use borders on the left hand side as well to complement that so what I did before I set to work scrapbooking this layout is I pulled all of the elements that were either black, gray, and that peachy pinky color um, so that I had everything on the table to work with knowing that that's what I wanted to do. So now what I have here is a Kaiser Craft stencil. It's flowers and I thought that the flowers matched the flowers that are in this Cocoa Vanilla Studio collection and I've got some Heidi Swap. Uh, texture paste it's silver and I'm just um, going to put three little flowers through that stencil um, because I felt that the silver was kind of a gray color that matched what I was using in the collection here from Coco Vanilla Studio um, and really the reason I keep flipping this stencil is because I do have texture paste on the stencil and I really wanted these flowers to come out as clean as possible. Um, it is mixed media so I'm perfectly happy with the fact that it's going to be somewhat messy uh, but I, I wanted as much clarity in the flower as I could uh, come up with. So I printed this picture two by five knowing that I wanted to put the frame around this picture. This picture is a picture of my mom and I um, and you will understand when you read the journaling um, why I use the title called Cherish Every Moment. Um, I'm sure many of you who are roughly my age um, understand that as as we get older our parents get older too um, and my mom does not live in the same state as I do so I cherish every moment that I have with her um, and that's what the journaling is about so that peachy pink is what is going to be on the left hand side there that salmony color and I knew that I wanted to put a strip beside it um, for a little bit of variation in the page. Uh, it also needed some some movement too because you've got all of those little bits and pieces on the on the right hand side that need balancing. My original thought was that I really wanted to use that black, that floral black, and by putting uh, the vellum on top of it, this is just a little tip, you can soften the color of that knowing that the black was too much, but even with the vellum on top it was, it was still too heavy um, and so I'm going to go with this gray chevron that is in the collection um, and just put a really thin strip of that 
beside that salmon color there. And there you can see how that ties the whole layout together. So um, because it's a very soft layout, I wanted to soften the edges of this particular salmon piece. So I'm just going to take the edge of my scissors here and just run them down the edge uh, and then I'll kind of fold it up a little bit. I just felt that this gave the pattern paper a little bit of a softer effect uh, to go with the soft feel of the layout there. So originally I had thought that I was going to stitch between those two, um, but because I've roughed up the edge, I decided that I didn't really want that uh, and I wasn't sure what color would work best. So um, I didn't put my adhesive all the way down to the right because otherwise the adhesive gums up my needle and it just makes sewing a little bit messy. I still really wanted to use this black floral, um, gray, dark gray, charcoal, That's that works, charcoal floral. So uh, I'm going to use it as just a really thin because if I put too much it was just way too heavy and ruined the balance on the page. So I'm just going to put a really thin border on that butterfly card. It was a uh, four by six that I cut down because I have that sort of squarish photo frame. It's not square, but it looks more square than rectangle. And so I was kind of going with that balance there. Now I had created an entirely different layout uh, for this process video. Only I only got 12 seconds of video. So these florals that I have here, uh, those little wispy bits are from that layout. Uh, they are left over, but I thought they were perfect on this layout as well. So it's going to kind of tie those two layouts together. Um, so I'm going to then mix in the florals, the flowers from the ephemera pack that I pulled. And uh, I pulled just the ones that were peachy. I will use a few. I had tried the, the pinky ones, but when you use the pink flowers on that peachy uh, color. It, it didn't work for me personally. Um, so I, I just kind of ditched those. So there's that word cherish and I knew that I was going to complete. I didn't want just cherish. I knew I wanted to complete the title to be uh, every moment. Um, so I, I, I'm going to figure out how to get that on the page, but I wanted a little bit more color in the background. So I've got some Heidi Shine um, and uh, this is Tattered Angels. It's from way, way, way back when, but it's the only gray that I have. Um, and I do really like the shine that's in it. I will tell you that it does wig me out a little bit when I put it down because it does it when when it before it dries, it is black. Um, and so you always have to remember that it's going to lighten up as it dries. So that is going to be the placement of those things, knowing that I have journaling that I want to put in over on that left hand side for some balance as well as the title. So earlier in the video, you saw that I did put it up the top there. Uh, the problem is, is that it makes the top of that layout incredibly heavy. So I liked uh, the L that was created by Cherish and that left hand border, uh, which is why I'm going to decide to put it down below. The problem is, is that I don't have a whole lot of room and I felt like it left a, a really empty space if I put it directly below the Polaroid frame there, the chipboard frame. So I am putting some um, scotch, no, it's not scotch, it's a 3M scrapbook adhesive pop dots on the bottom of the word so that it can then rate rest on the top of that Polaroid frame there and you'll see that in a minute. But there you go. What I forgot as I was putting those pop dots was that the S and the H weren't going to be resting on the frame um, and so they needed something to to lift that up to an even level with the rest of the word. So you can see that L that is created uh, which creates a little bit more balance of the weight of things on the page there. I thought maybe that um, the butterfly for a little bit of added color would be nice on that right hand side. I will tell you, do you see that darker gray label that is on the, on the page of, on the border on the right hand side there? I am going to take that off and I'm going to put a softer, more floral one. Um, and you'll see that in the close ups. I just felt like it stood out on its own. And even in the close ups, you'll see that it's still empty. Something needs to go in there. I just can't figure out what it's going to be. Um, so now I have pulled some Tim Holtz letters from my stash and I also have, you can see that M there is uh, from Evalicious from a Coco Daisy kit 
and I am going to uh, just use my Heidi Swap. Is it Heidi Swap? I think it is Heidi uh, Center Ruler to line up those letters there. I toyed with the play, but. I toyed with the placement of the of moment. Uh, originally, my intent had been to put moment directly by every, uh, but then it, it just it looked funny. So putting it down below uh, was a better place for that to end up going. The other things that I do do on this layout off camera, um, and I tend to do a lot off camera, but not because I don't want you to see the process, but because when I'm done filming, I look at the layout and I think, mm, it really needs something else. So I put a little pink chipboard heart next to moment. It just sort of closed that hole in there. And then the other thing that I did do was um, I you know me, I design for Spiegel Mom scraps. I have a little bit of a sequence problem. Um, so. I did find some matching sort of salmon colored sequence that I will adhere um, down the way that I normally do. So that is the completed layout, my friends. Um, I encourage you to go and pre-order uh, the new Coco Vanilla Studio collection from Scrapbook Your Joy, 5% off plus um, the discounted shipping if you order enough is a great, great deal. And like I said, the exchange rate really does work really favorably. So enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. And as always, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. I hope you're doing well and thanks for stopping in today. Take care. <music>